What's up folks? Dr. Grizz here with another beer and juice pairing or vape pairing. Uh, gonna make this one a quick one. There is gonna be three uh, three vapes. So, but let's start it off right. We'll start it off right with a shot of whiskey, right? Gotta start it off with a shot of whiskey. Good old Jameson's getting the party started. You know the party's gonna be good when an Irishman shows up. <laughs> Cheers. Whew. Now let's get right to business. What do I got for you today? This is a collaboration beer that I picked up the other day uh, from Distill. I think that's how that's pronounced. Distill Brewery, Normal, Illinois. Uh, Illinois, Illinois, whatever. Night Shift Brewing and Night Shift Brewing. Uh, not sure where Night Shift is from. I think it's from Connecticut somewhere. For some reason, I think that's from Connecticut. Uh, Brewing can still. Da 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 da. Not sure. I think it's from Connecticut. Whatever. Five point one percent. Ain't nothing normal. Tart New England style pale ale with boysenberry. This is already sounding like it's right up my alley. Right up my alley. I love me some tart. Oh yeah. Let's have a pour. Let's see how she looks, huh? Oh, she's pink. She's pretty in pink. Look at that. It's almost like grape juice. Oh, I can smell the boysenberries from here. It's always a good sign. Oh yeah, I'm already thinking I'm liking this. Look at the color on that. Oh, holy crap. Let's, let's turn that around. I like doing that now. Check this out. Look at that. It is fucking pretty. It's not coming in very good on the camera, but whatever. It's fucking looking gorgeous right here. I can smell them boysenberries. Uh. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is fucking tart as fuck. It is smooth as fuck. And it's hoppy. There's a floral hop to it. A nice, smooth, floral hop. Like, not a medicinal hop. Like, more like a floral hop. It's really nice. I'm not, not getting any citrus or weird, like, tropical notes. I'm getting... Nice wild berry notes, like a wild berry notes, boysenberry, and a, oh yeah, this is, I'm liking this at all, that, that, that whew, they chose the right hops for that, what hops did they use in that, let's see, what hops did they use in that, <coughs> da, 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 da. mosaic and citra, that's kind of weird, because I'm not getting any citrus from this, just a little bit on the back end. It says it's supposed to be a subtle tartness. Uh, not to me. I'm getting more juicy and more tartness than, than hoppy. But it is clean and it is smooth and I'm liking it a lot. What are we going to pair with it? What are we going to vape with it, everybody? Well, sitting on top of the top side is my new Rebirth. That's right. The Mike Vapes Rebirth. And I got a pair of... Let's see if I can pull this off without fucking getting juice all over me. So people can see my build. Look at that. That's a pair of quad core 30 gauge stainless steel with a 40 gauge stainless steel 316L wrap. And she's not super rowdy, but that's what I was looking for. Point two build. Point two. Yeah. <clears throat> that's kind of what I was looking for. But just like they said, it is kind of hard to get the, the top cap to sit on your first go and I want to make sure like I'm still not used to this RDA so I'm making sure I got plenty of airflow coming through it because that is that's got to be one of the fucking smoothest fucking vapes I've ever had in my life kind of hard to purge though you got to turn the mod like this to, to, to purge you can't because otherwise it's like right in your face point two pretty good vape pretty dense vape for a point two I gotta tell you 
but inside there we got we've got the uh caribbean punch caribbean punch glass basics i'm loving this line quite a bit we're gonna do another one from that line in a moment but let's start it off with this all right and squonk i love that i love that part Oh, yeah. Oh, that's going very well. This is putting tropical notes in with the wild berries, into the smoothness. And it's lingering. It's making the linger of the tartness a little longer, and I dig that. It's like, it's like improving on that nice tart linger on the tongue. I dig that a lot. Let's do that one again. Ah, whew getting emotional already it's just the beginning of the video we're five only six minutes in and i'm getting emotional oh yeah i'm liking that a lot but now we got to try something completely different uh, i'm kind of skeptical that this is even gonna be good i know the juice is good but you know i got my drop dead right there I got the other, the fizzy lemonade, which has a touch of a touch of cooling in it. Not quite menthol, but cooling, like a little cooling effect to it. I'm digging quite a bit. Like I'm really digging this juice. I'm running out of battery. Actually, that was surprisingly good. That cooling effect had an effect on the the tartness. It like kind of like like fruity yet minty gum, like sour gum with a touch of mint. I dig it. It's kind of like, actually it's kind of like those juices, like the the brain freeze juice. You know, it makes it kind of like that. Oh, whew. getting sweaty already. Yeah, that is a that is quite a decent pairing. I should have should have taken this fucking hoodie off before starting the video. I guess let's do that now. Toss that hat back on. All right. What else do we got? Well, I got some uh, along with my rebirth that I got from Mike Vape's online store, the hitthatjuice.com. I got picked up some smoothie salt, 35 milligrams salt nick. <clears throat> the uh, strawberries gone wild. Strawberry, raspberry, and apples. That should pair very well with that. And I don't know why I'm opening the bottle. It's already in the pod. Let's have a go. <coughs> I am digging this in this pod, but it does make me cough for some reason. But I, I don't know why. This one makes me cough a little bit. No, it, it's it's good, but you kind of lose the boysenberry because of the the pot, the apple. I think the apple and the raspberry is kind of because boysenberry is not a strong flavor, anyways. It's it's a good flavor, but it's not a strong flavor. No, I mean that's doable if you're at the bar and they have this on tap and you got your meat pod, you can go ahead and do a couple of uh, stealth apes and. And put it with a little of this, you know, and should go pretty good. But so far, I think the winner is going to be the uh, the lemonade, the 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 kind of fizzy lemonade with that little cooling effect on it. Oh yeah, let's uh let's finish that glass, huh? Damn right. That was, look at that fucking vape coming off of that. It's fucking gorgeous. All right, guys. So stop smoking shit that tastes like ass and start vaping shit like what I just did. Pair it with some delicious beers because life's too short to eat shitty food, drink shitty beer, and smoke shitty cigarettes, which is going to make your life even shorter. Love you guys.